In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my absolute favorite spots to take photos in Lake Tahoe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, my name is Gabriella and I am an outdoor photographer based in Lake Tahoe. And a couple of years ago, I made a video where I shared some of my favorite photo spots around Lake Tahoe. And I just thought it was time for an update. This video is gonna be divided into two parts. In today's video, I'll be sharing five of my absolute favorite photo locations. And then just keep a lookout for the second half of this video, which will have another five of my favorite photo locations. These are the photo locations that I return to time and time again. They are where I take most of my Instagram photos. These are the spots that people are always like, where is that? And I just wanna say that if you are visiting any of these spots or any of the spots that I share in my videos or my blog, please do your part to help keep Lake Tahoe beautiful by leaving no trace. And with that, let's get into it. Location number one is Monkey Rock. Monkey Rock along the Flume Trail is one of my go-to spots to take photos in Lake Tahoe. There's a rock carved to look like a monkey, which is fun to see and snap a few pics with, but I'm really there for the spectacular 180 degree views. My favorite things about this spot are the views facing south and the overhanging rock that's shaped like a perfect chair. The trail to Monkey Rock is located behind Tunnel Creek Cafe in Incline Village. Number two is Bonsai Rock. Located on Tahoe's East Shore, Bonsai Rock is another one of my go-to photo spots. I especially love capturing paddleboarders and kayakers in this area, and it's also one of my favorite spots to capture drone photos. And during the summer, chances are pretty good of capturing an epic shot of someone jumping off the rock. Number three is Secret Cove. I'm not kidding when I say the color of the water at Secret Cove blows my mind every single time I visit. I usually photograph this spot during the off season because summertime at Secret Cove gets pretty crazy in terms of the crowds, especially on the weekends. I'm gonna put in a reminder here, if you visit Secret Cove or any of the spots on this list, please be respectful, pack out your trash and leave no trace. Number four is DL Bliss State Park and the Rubicon Trail. The Rubicon Trail is one of the most beautiful trails in Lake Tahoe, which makes it great for taking photos. The trail connects DL Bliss State Park and Emerald Bay State Park, and the views are jaw-dropping the entire way. I'm not kidding when I say you will be stopping every five minutes to take photos along this trail. You can pick up the trail from either Emerald Bay State Park via the Vikings Home Trail or from DL Bliss State Park. Number five is the Emerald Bay Overlook along the Bayview Trail. Located off Highway 89, the Bayview Trail is home to Granite Lake, Maggie's Peak, and a beautiful overlook of Emerald Bay. The Emerald Bay Overlook is one of my go-to spots to take photos because it's a short hike, the views are unobstructed, and there's a perfectly placed rock to stand or sit on and take in the gorgeous views. You can end the hike at the Overlook or continue on towards Granite Lake and Maggie's Peak for more amazing photo opportunities. So those were five of my favorite photo locations in Lake Tahoe. Stay tuned for the second half for part two. If you like this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe, and I will see you in part two. Bye guys.